How do we know the current warming trend isn't caused by the Sun? Another way to test a scientific theory is to investigate alternative explanations. Because the Sun's output has a strong influence on Earth's temperature, scientists have examined records of solar activity to determine if changes in solar output might be responsible for the observed global warming trend. The most direct measurements of solar output are satellite readings, which have been available since 1979. These satellite records show that the Sun's output has not shown a net increase during the past 30 years, and thus cannot be responsible for the global warming during that period. Before satellites, solar energy had to be estimated by more indirect methods, such as records of the number of sunspots observed each year, which is an indicator of solar activity. These indirect methods suggest there was a slight increase in solar energy during the first half of the 20th century, and a decrease in the latter half. The increase may have contributed to warming in the first half of the century, but that does not explain warming in the latter part of the century. Further evidence that current warming is not a result of solar changes can be found in the temperature trends in the different layers of the atmosphere. These data come from two sources, weather balloons, which have been launched twice daily from hundreds of sites around the world since the late 1950s, and satellites, which have monitored the temperature of different layers of the atmosphere since the late 1970s. Both of these data sets have been heavily scrutinized, and both show a warming trend in the lower layer of the atmosphere, the troposphere, and a cooling trend in the upper layer, the stratosphere. This is exactly the vertical pattern of temperature change expected from increased greenhouse gases, which trap energy closer to the Earth's surface. If an increase in solar output were responsible for the recent warming trend, the vertical pattern of warming would be more uniform through the layers of the atmosphere.